hello welcome back all in our previous videos we have discussed about how to create uh, new models how to define menu and its action also how to define uh, the form view and the tree view so this is the same database we have used in the previous videos so in this database the module is already installed in our earlier video i have told you that in the normal mode still our menu is not visible i have shown you that the menu is only visible in the super user mode and i have already told you the reason that the menu is not visible here because we have in set access rights for the new model we have created that is hospital dot patient so i will just activate the super user mode so once we activate the super user mode we can see the menu we have created that is hospital and the model is hospital dot patient so in this video we will see how to set access rights for the model we have created the model is hospital dot patient so for setting the access right i will go to the back end home auto auto 12 in the custom add-ons this is our module so here i will create a new folder that is security i will create a new folder that is security folder is created and i will create and I will copy an existing security file from an existing model. I will copy this ir.modelaccess file. Copy and I will paste it inside our custom module. I will paste it in the security file. So if I come to the PyCharm, this is our module. And there is a lot of lines. Let me remove these redundant lines. Okay. So these are this is the default line. So what we have done is just we have created a new folder that is security, and inside that folder we have placed this file that is ir.model.access.csv. The name has to be given like this itself. And inside this first line is common that is ID name model id group id permission read permission type permission like this this is the common line from from the second line we will write the rules so i have to write the rule for newly created model the newly created model is hospital patient so i will give ideas access hospital patient so i have written the id now i have to give a name so i will give uh, S is missing here. I will give the name as access dot hospital dot patient. You can give the name as you like. Then you have to give the model ID. That is this model. That is no. The system is asking for which model you are giving the access rights. So I am specifying. I am giving the model uh, access right for this model. So I will copy this and i will paste it here before starting of model you have to give model underscore model underscore hospital underscore patient this is the syntax of giving the model id model underscore hospital underscore patient so i have given the model id here if we are giving the access rights for specified group suppose like in the system we have different group of users like employee portal users a sales manager sales user like the different groups are there so if we are giving the rules for a specified group you can specify it here else you can leave it as empty that then it will get applied to all the groups so i will keep it as empty now then so here this group id I'll keep it as empty then permission read i'm granting the permission create permission put one then I'll grant the write permission. Yes, put one. Then I will grant the create permission. Yes, create permission. Followed by unlink permission, delete permission. So this is simply you can define. Simply you can define an access rights. So you have created a security file and placed ir.modelaccess.csv inside. Now we have to call this file inside the manifest file. So let me copy an existing 
to sample from here control c and i will paste it in our manifest file so i have called the file inside the manifest file too so this is we have done so we have the manifest file we call this csv file and inside csv file we have defined a new access right for the model hospital dot patient so now i will upgrade the module restarted the service as i have made the changes in the python that is manifest file now i will go to the apps menu and i will upgrade the module here the module is getting upgraded so for executing right now we are in the super user mode um, we will go to the settings we go to settings if we go to technical that is the menu of very security yes access rights and just search for the hospital you can see this is the access right we have created right now that is this is the name we have given access hospital dot patient access this is the name we have given for the model object is patient record group c empty and for, for all the access is given so right now we are in the super user mode i will quit the super user mode by logging out the system and i will log in back the system now we will exit from the super user mode and you will see right now you can see hospital menu without activating the super user mode so this is how you can give access right for your model when we start this video you can you, the access hospital menu was not visible here without activating the super user mode but once we give the access right for the corresponding model the menu get visible even without activating the super user mode so this is all about this video if you have any queries or doubts regarding this you can comment it out we will get back to you as soon as possible and please subscribe the channel for more development tutorials thank you